So in this problem, uh, we are given um, two equation here with their um, equilibrium constant, and we have to find out the equilibrium constant for this equation here. So to solve this problem, let's first reverse the first equation or equation one by writing it reversely. You can write it HPO2 HP plus O2 and uh, the equilibrium constant here if we just let it K prime as uh, 1 over 2 times 10 to the power 12 it will give us a value of 5.0 times 10 to the power minus 13 so now let's see how this um, equilibrium constant was found so if we like it in the equation form k prime here is equal to uh, hp o2 over this one hb o2 and then for the second equation we have our equilibrium as um, HBCO over uh, HB and CO. And uh, for the equation, we need to find the equilibrium constant here. Our K is um, HBCO times O2 from these two and uh, put it over these two here HBO2 times CO. So now if we um, multiply these two here, that means K prime and K from these two, we will have um, H, B, and O2 over H, B, O2 times this one, that means uh, H, B, C, O over H, B, and co so now we have um we can just cross hp hp from here and then uh we have the net equation as hb co and o2 over h B O two and um, C O. So if you see that this is identical to this one, right? We have H B C O here. We have H B C O here. We have O two here. We have O two here. We have H B O two. H B O two. CO, CO. That means if we just multiply um, this value with the equilibrium constant of the second equation, we will get the equilibrium constant for this equation. So um, the value here is, um, let's go to this one. So the equilibrium constant for the equation given is equal to K prime times k2 if we just consider that 2 that is actually um so this is 5.0 times 10 to the power minus 13 and uh, another one we have 1 times 10 to the power 14 
so in total uh, if we just calculate it we can see that's the value is 50. so that means the equilibrium constant for the given equation is 50 and um, we know that if uh, a equilibrium constant value is greater than one then it will favor product over reactant and that means um, this equilibrium we are given here will favor product over the reactant